Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to bake a texture in Autodex Maya. Now, texture baking is uh, uh, actually a very easy in Autodex Maya. Now, what is the texture baking? Now, I have made a scene where I have a plane where I put a uh, wood texture onto it and it's, uh, I took a sphere and I put a random texture into it and I created a light, a point light, basic, very basic setup. So I hit, if we hit render, you can see my scene has been lit up with the uh, point light that I've created and it also creates uh, the shadow of the sphere over the uh, my plane, polygon and plane. So now what if this shadow or this shade uh, over this uh, sphere is actually be part of this texture that means if I delete my uh, light from my scene still it will show you the the shade and the shadow now that is what the baking is the baking uh, generally used to optimize the scene which uh, is not required uh, which is with uh, you know a fixed lighting and also it helps a lot in rendering while while you are using a huge uh, uh, scene I mean where there are a lot of objects and you know the, a lot of heavy objects and but yes definitely you cannot you should not actually use which is uh, near to the camera if you're if you're having a moving scene now this technique also used uh, sometimes for the game engines or sometimes for the game scenarios where you want to create something, uh, some shadows and all, and you just want to bake that shadow on the texture itself. The shadow is a part of the texture of this particular object, so so that you don't have to create the shadow, switch on the shadow, because switching on the shadow of a light it will always be creating a a little bit of more than render time than the uh, without the shadow. So let's see how to do that. And you can see. <coughs> Uh, first of all, how there are two ways to uh, bake the light and shadow in uh, Autodex Maya. Now, uh, first I will start with the very basic method of uh, doing it on Maya software by using the Maya software. First of all, what you have to do is we have to go to Hypershade and I'll just uh, this is the Lambda 4. This is the object that has been created. Now you can convert this to a blin also, no problem. Now, whatever it is, if you use blin or Lambert, it doesn't matter. You have to select the object plus select the uh, shader that have been applied to it. This is very important. If you don't uh, select both of them, this is not going to work. Then I go to edit and see there is an option called convert to file texture Maya software. Now this is specifically for Maya texture. You cannot use for Maya, uh, sorry, mid -ray. So go to option box. You can switch on the uh, anti-aliasing. It's a default shader, definitely. The entire range, or if you want a default UV range, or entire range, or you can specify your uh, UV space. Fine. Now, bake lighting group and shading group and lighting, and also bake shadows. If you have a transparency, you can turn on that also. And after that, you just hit. Oh, sorry. I have to set a size of your texture because this will convert into a, another texture. So I'll definitely put it into a higher resolution. And I also go for JPEG for right now. Now, say so convert and close. And immediately you will see this particular object has been taken as an you know as created as surface shader and also applied to it now what is actually happened this entire if you hit render now you'll see nothing has been changed 
it looks seems absolutely fine where if you select the light and hit delete and then render now you can see the shade has been still been calculated that which is which is not exactly happen for or for any any normal object like if i go to right click and see share the blend to the, which is the original shader which is which was my original shader before see you can see this with the the light is actually not affecting this this particular texture this is this is a part of the texture right now now same thing i i can show you it will be more easy to understand if i get back to a couple of stages yeah so I hit render now you can see this is a texture this is a shadow of this object now now i'm going to bake this object this plane over here so select this object now same go to the hyper shade shift select the lambert 2 which is the material and then go to edit and go to option box bake shading bake shadows should on great convert and close now see this this is really really interesting because you have already seen the texture uh, over here you are already seeing the texture the preview on the on the viewport but now if i delete the light i don't have any light in my scene if i go to outliner see there is no light at all so now if you hit render you see still the object's shadow is coming out now what is the uh, the most interesting thing is if we move this object and hit render you will see the shadow is a part of this this particular texture so that's how you are actually you know creating so if you even if you uh, you know rotate the scene you see that the, the still your shadows has been actually been calculated from that particular point so this is how you can actually bake the texture bake the shadow uh, inside inside Maya using the Maya software now the same thing you can have I'm just uh, going back yeah, sorry yeah I'm just going back to a uh, couple of uh, steps fine fantastic okay now now what you'll do is we'll do the same thing by using mental ray now first of all we need to change the software to the mental ray which is a very very important one so that we can see the output result now if you hit render you can see the same result is actually incoming uh, you need to work on the shadows i'm not uh, going to discuss about the how to improve the shadows and all so that's it now what we'll do is uh, you have to if you don't want that uh, reflection to be happen because by default the reflectivity is calculated inside mental ray so I just turn, turn off the ray tracing and hit render and you can see that object is still there fine now uh, you have to go to rendering menu rendering section lighting and shading and go to batch bake mental ray now what is this this is really really interesting now mental ray can bake a lot of things uh, it can be selected objects or it can be all inside the scene so i'll just hit select all in this inside the scene now back to the textures or you want to back it to vertex now i'll here set it to the texture uh, bake optimization multiple objects yes i want to bake the shadows camera is definitely the perspective keep the original shading network no i don't want that i want to be updated yes this is really really important now this is uh, how you are going to select how you are going to control your uh, baked output now you, your color mode should be uh, light and color because if you select only light which is the by default then only the shade will gonna uh, you know update it you you don't get any texture so it should be light and color surface front rest of the things are fine and only you have to set the resolution for for 1024 to 1024 and definitely i'll go for the jpeg because that's the most, most optimized one 
I don't want back to one map because there I, I actually set it to all objects because if I set, set it to selected objects then only I can go for the uh, you know uh, back, or back to one map I don't need alpha final gather quality and all this all because I don't I really don't require now to do so what will be interesting one if you go to the indirect elimination and check if whether the final gather is off or not so that will save a lot of time of your render and all so now just uh, hit convert and close so it will take some time to you know bake the entire thing great so it's done now you can see that in the viewport itself it's actually showing you with the texture as i have pressed six so now what will happen if i d hit delete button now this thing is really really interesting now, if you hit render you can see the same thing is happening but if you hit delete the uh, light and then uh, hit render you will see the same effect is happening the light is there shadow is casting and also it's traveling through the surface so it's absolutely it's absolutely like you know it's amazing that it, you have that it's a part of this it's particular it's a part of this uh, you know uh, shadow is actually become the part of this texture that's how we can use the back texture in Autodix Maya so Hope you enjoy this. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also like us in Facebook and follow us on Twitter to stay updated. So thank you very much.